What's up teachers and students? This video is for you students. Today we're going to take a look over here in ClassLink at the library resources that you have available to you. We're going to check it out, see which kind of apps you got in there and what you can do with them and how they can help you with your school work. We are here in our class link screen. That's where we've landed. We're going to scroll down here until we find a folder that's called Library Resources. Fole Destiny, the library catalog. All right, so this is if you were trying to find a physical book there in the library, that's what you could use that for. The main one we want to go to and deal with is TextQuest. So when we go to TextQuest, it's going to open that up in a new browser window for us here. And here we have a place to do very academically professional research and to find useful information and not to just find Google images of stupid stuff. This is where you go to actually learn something, not Google images. Maybe you've got a science project that you're gonna work on and you need to do some research for your science project. Oh look, science and math, we got a category over here. If we're in the middle school, boom, let's click that. Science and math, we've got some, we've got magazine and news articles, Britannica, Encyclopedia, Learn 360, Nat Geo Kids. So let's just go into Nat Geo Kids here. Oh, we gotta have our password. Let's see, I know what that password is. Let me, let me grab it here. Put on the hold music, put on the hold music. Capital P, at sign, N-T-H-E-R-S. Select your school district. We got our password, which was capital P, at sign, N-T-H-E-R-S for Panthers. Go, go, go. Boom, we're in. All right. Topic. We need a topic. What, what, what? Did you say erosion? Sure. Let's go ahead and say that our topic for our project is erosion. And let's search erosion on here and see what we can find. We've got books. We've got kids' magazines that came up. We've got videos. Has a living roof designed by architect Renzo Piano. Let's see, maybe we want to use this image in our project. How can we do that? <gasps> Look, it's a source citation. So if we want to copy and paste this image into our project, then all we have to do is copy and paste the citation also so that we are legally using the image. If this image is really awesome and I know I'm gonna want it later, I can throw it in my Google Drive. Right there, see that button right down there? I'm just gonna throw it in my Google Drive. First time I click it, I'm gonna have to sync up my account. I'm gonna have to allow it. Boom, so that has been sent to my Google Drive. Let's go see it, let's see if that actually happened. Boom, Drive, Citations, MLA9, Soil Erosion. What if we want all of it, let's see. <laughs> send to Google Drive, there it is. Boom, now it's gonna send the whole thing to our Google Drive. Go back over here, we are gonna refresh. There it is, Soil Erosion. So we've got the information about the image again, where it came from, the image itself. And look, we also have the citation on this as well. We have the citation on this as well. So no excuse not to cite our image, right? All right, um, Erosion, let's go to Britannica. Remember, I'm in TextQuest. TextQuest is where I went to load up all of these different little resources here. I'm in Britannica. I'm going to type erosion. I've got an article on geology here. I'm going to notice I right click and open that in a new tab. Did you guys know that trick? Right click, open in a new tab. That way I've still got this search results open and I can go back to it anytime. Uh, pro tip for you there. If you're on a Chromebook, right click is two finger tap, two finger tap. Canyons, check that out. Erosion. So erosion has caused this, all right? Erosion carved the Grand Canyon. Sea waves causing erosion here. See how we are finding resources about erosion, wind erosion, ice erosion, glaciers sliding through, gravity. Man, that's good stuff. I want to make sure I save it. I'm going to send it to my Google Drive. First time syncing up here with Britannica, so we had to do that. Boom. Let's go see if it went. Just, you know, we can't trust anything, right? Trust but verify. There's our erosion article, boom. Everything that we know about erosion from that Britannica article is now saved in our Google Drive as notes. And I bet, was is there a citation? There's a citation on there as well that I can use. Let's say we're doing something about Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe? So we've got something about poetry here, gothic fiction. So I'm gonna right click, open my link in a new tab. I've got an article here about gothic fiction and I noticed that it mentions Edgar Allan Poe here. Science approaches the problem, cosmology, Edgar Allan Poe. All right, so we've got lots of resources here that are coming up about Edgar Allan Poe. And notice they are intelligent, usable resources, right? Historic Baltimore. You know how to, here's another trick. Another pro tip for you here. Where can we find something about Poe in this article? Control F. Control F to search within a page. Poe, there we go. Boom, I've dropped down here right away to the paragraph 
where Poe is mentioned. Tourist attractions include the house where writer Edgar Allan Poe lived and worked from 1832 to 1835. Poe's grave. We are writing a paper about Edgar Allan Poe. We have found information. We can save this source to our Google Drive. Do I necessarily want Woody Allen? No. Okay, don't, because that's not Edgar Allan Poe. But this one, notice in the results, it says Edgar Allan Poe. That one, just Woody Allen. Don't care about Woody Allen. And again, I want to find the information about Poe from this page. So I'm going to control F. There we go. Thus, Edgar Allan Poe opened his story of the fall of the House of Usher. If we want that, we know that. Boom, I'm Google driving it, saving it as a note over there. Okay, notice here on page two, we've got a bunch of Edgars. Edgars, not necessarily the Edgar Allan Poe that we needed. Pay attention to that. Don't waste your time clicking through things that have nothing to do with what you want. Science approaches the problem, cosmology, Edgar Allan Poe, space, science, cool stuff. Again, control F, Poe. Here we go. Here's our stuff about Edgar Allan Poe that's in this article. So I can read this paragraph here. If this paragraph seems like it's providing information that's useful to me for my research, I can save it to my drive in is there. That's text quest. We looked at Nat Geo kids. We looked at Britannica school. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go to these articles. Let's check out these science articles. Photosynthesis you say? You, you want to learn about photosynthesis? Let's check it out. Did I spell that right? Oh my goodness I did. All right, so we've got an article here about photosynthesis, an overview of it, very cool. So we can open that in a new tab to read more about that. Here we go. Look, the Google Drive button, so we can save it to our Google Drive if we want to. Boom, science, photosynthesis, stuff that's intelligent and smart, right there, good, useful things. Is it full of stupid images that's not gonna help us? No, if we want pictures of photosynthesis though, are we gonna be able to find them? Let's see, images, 13 images available of photosynthesis. Oh, looky there, we've got photosynthesis images. Oh man, that's a great picture that helps me explain photosynthesis. I need that for my science paper. I'm gonna snag that over in my Google Drive. And again, it's gonna pull that citation with me. So when I use it in my paper, I can cite where that photo came from. Back in the day, this was like where you did all your research. There was no internet. So if you needed to find information about a topic you were searching, this is where you went. You went to the little SERS database. We are gonna look up physics because physics is awesome. Albert Einstein, big name in physics. The greatest show on earth. Is this about physics? That sounds like that might be good. I'm gonna try my control click. Look at this, original PDF. So we can look at the article, the greatest show on earth. So we've got, you know, a cool way to look at the article here. We can read it with all of the images and everything embedded. Okay, greatest show on earth. I really like this. I'm gonna save the PDF. Can I put this PDF in my Google Drive? Yes, I can. New, upload a file, go to my downloads. There's my article, greatest show on earth. Boom, open for upload. Great show on earth, PDF article now in my Google Drive, as well as all of my other articles of things that I've been saving, which you can see it organized them into folders, the ones I found in Britannica, the ones I found in Gale, and the ones I found in Natural Geographic Kids. Windmills. We're gonna search windmills now. Fracking harmful, hydroelectric energy, the world's largest wind farm. There we go. So notice, this does not sound like it's something I want, right? Even though it came up, doesn't sound like something I want, but this one does say it's about windmills. So I can right click, open that in a new tab, go check that out in a minute. Here's one, I can open it in a new tab. Energy from wind, another one. Right click, open that in a new tab. Farm machinery, I probably don't wanna waste time with that one, right? Let's explore science, wind energy, boom, there we go. That one looks good too. I like this picture of windmills. I want to use it in my project. I will download it. Boom, downloaded it for me as a picture, site, copy. Okay, look, let's talk about this. How are we gonna make this work? We downloaded the image, we have the citation separately. What can I do if I want to uh, say what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a Google slide out of it. I'm going to paste the citation here. I go to upload from my computer and where's my windmill picture at? There it is, boom. So now I have my citation and my windmill picture, which I can go back to later at another time. Look, windmill picture, there it is in my Google Drive already. We took a look at several of the resources that are available in ClassLink in the library resources folder. We talked about some pro tips, right, on opening resources in a new tab and leaving our search window open. So we still have our search results. Uh, we talked about control F to search through a web page or a document and try to find specifically the information we want to know. We looked at how to save all these resources in our Google Drive. 
We got the citations for them. We saw how it saved and organized it all in our Google Drive and how to upload those to our Google Drive. My gosh, we learned a lot of stuff today. Hopefully you learned a little bit how to research, how to go through those search results and make sure that you are picking out ones that look like they're going to actually be useful. Only go through useful looking resources and not waste our time. I feel like you guys are going to be intelligent and capable researchers now. Congratulations on being amazing researchers. Proud of you. Peace.